How's it going guys? My name is Graham, welcome to Two Left Thumbs. You're watching a video promoting the Patreon for Sock Pop Collective, a group of indie game developers who for the last year and a half have been releasing two game jam style games every month. If you want to be a part of it and support them, you can get access to those two games per month for as little as $3 over on their Patreon. There's a link down below to their Patreon page, you can go and pledge there. There's also a link to their itch.io page where you can buy the individual games for $3. Also, in case you want to put it off until the end, the end card at the end of this video is also going to be a link to their Patreon page. Page. Thanks for listening, and I hope you enjoy the video. Hey, this is Sonko Loco, the Sock Pop train game. It's something that I have attempted to record a few times at this point. I believe this is the third, and I really just kind of didn't understand the game the first few times. Now, I think I finally have it sorted out. I understand exactly what needs to be done, and so it should be less uh, painful and less uh, embarrassing to go through. Basically, I have my little garage here that I build trains out of. It has to run around and do different tasks. I have planks, bricks, steel, and people to utilize, and I, I have an objective that I have to do. I do want to draw attention to the fact that Sako Logo Deluxe is being made. This is where the game was set aside for the the two games a month project and was like, cool, this is this is nice. This is Sako Logo. Then we're immediately going to expand and develop it further for Sako Logo Deluxe. That should be due out later this year, maybe early 2020. Anyways, if you guys are into train stuff, this is a, a good one. A good one to give a shot. I have to come up with a good way to make it up to this wood pile and to this uh, lumber mill here and so I need to stick two stations there and I'll explain why in a moment but you can see their range of influence there's the lumber camp that has a very limited range but the stations range is much longer so it has covered it has covered that for me uh, so I have to go stop by pick up the wood at the platform here at which time I have to loop around it, drop it off the lumber mill, and then take it back to my garage. So I have a few different stops that I need to make. I should kind of uh, plan out a little bit of how I plan to get there. Uh, and so I'm not overlapping with myself like crazy. Do you know what? I'm immediately uh, going the other way. I think I have an idea that will make sense put the little curves in the track here i hope i have enough tracks to achieve what i'm attempting this is where things get a little tricky at the start because you don't really know exactly what you have i have 10 steel to work with steel tracks are actually uh faster and you can connect them so i might as well use them on this little straight stretch here i you can utilize them in different ways like you don't have to transition them into a wood track the way I'm doing there that's just kind of a thing that I happen to be doing and I, I do need to park a couple stations in front of this as well so that I can I can properly stop stop there whoops it's easy to pick up tracks if you lay a improper track so I don't have to worry too much about that get another quick line there you can like drag you'll see there that I'm doing a uh, more proper dragging to get things where they need to be I, uh, I got to put a goofy little zigzag in it and ending back at my station there so I'm all done with that. I can access my garage. There's a few different things. You can buy a locomotive, a wood wagon. You can look at what the cost is and what it does. I just realized that I have to make a quick trade off here because I need to be able to afford that stuff. So uh, too many, that was too many tracks. Uh, there's a few other things that you can get. The wood wagon carries logs and planks. That's specifically what I need right now. The locomotive pulls wagons. Ah, uh, I need I need more of that back even. So I, I, I'm taking back all that steel. Still have plenty of materials. And now I can buy a locomotive. And uh, I can't immediately buy this actually because I have to send out my locomotive. It exits the garage just like so. Then I can buy the wood wagon. Similarly, I'll send him out. You'll see him kind of snap into place with the, the main 
locomotive there, which is quite cool. You can click and drag your guy around, which is neat if, if you need to at all. But when you start sending him on his own little errands, you can't send him backwards. And you couldn't. You can put switches in the tracks, I just haven't done that. So the first thing I need this guy to do, it's really handy, you can pull the UI around and stuff. I need you to go here first, and he will load in the the wood here from the platform the next step is i need you to go here to no i clicked on the wrong thing so i need you to go to the station not the mill and i need you to load in load out yes only load out uh because i can collect the planks myself which we can demonstrate now by turning on the engine You'll see he has like a direct route of where he needs to go. They're going to load in all that wood for him. And now he knows to stop at the next part. He will unload. Yeah, handy. And in like X amount of time, I don't know precisely how long, the logs will become planks. Uh, I do need you to just go back out again, buddy. Just keep doing your thing. Ooh. Okay, so here's one thing now. Now that I've built it, now that I have that... Uh, stuff sent out from the garage. I don't actually want them returning to the garage. That's right. Uh, I was trying to send them in the back there. That's not actually what I need. So now I can I can show you guys a little bit about how that works. Uh, that plank is done being made. I can go collect those. I have a little bit of extra track to work with now as well while I'm at it. So there, there's the first switch that I've put in the track. Uh, this is also handy now because if I ever made another locomotive, he could similarly exit the garage there and immediately be on on their way. I will drag you back across to reconnect you with the locomotive. Uh, he still has the same order of things that I need him to do, so I can immediately send him off to do that. You can see there's another lumber camp over here. There's a house, city center, things like that. Nothing I particularly need to worry about now. This is like the introduction level. Right now, it's just about uh, getting these planks. So he's just going to go right ahead, pass the switch in the track. Ooh, and you can flip it. You can flip it specifically, which is, which is cool. I actually didn't realize that before. I hadn't needed to. Still, at this point, haven't necessarily needed to. Uh... But yeah, that's just a quick demo of how that works. We'll get him to deliver these last planks now. Oh, I... Hmm. They they maybe weren't ready for him. I maybe should have had it set up so he would stop and go to this platform or something. Because it looked like he didn't have... They were still in the process of finishing that stack. Now it can be unloaded. There is this whole tutorial here that walks you through all the different steps of that. I just haven't needed it. Or this particular time, I very badly needed it before. That's why I've had to record this several times. It's because I was just not good at it. Train stuff is just not like a thing that I am experienced with. So, I had, uh, <laughs> last time people were already assigned to a job. Normally people start in a city. This, I haven't done this level, so I, I am kind of having to figure it out now. So now you see you have people that you do actually have to assign. Click on a farm or lumber camp to assign someone. To get more people, bring bread to a city center. Oh, so I gotta go farm first. Windmill makes bread. So I'm gonna wanna go wheat, bread. I guess getting a lumber camp going is probably a good idea as well. Because I'm probably gonna have to build quite a lot of tracks. I think it's worthwhile to assign a worker here immediately. Workers aren't needed at the mill or the windmill, either of the mills, apparently don't actually need people, but I could assign someone here. That's probably a good idea. And then I can try and set up multiple stations along the way so I can hit up, like, both the farm here. I'll do- I'll just do a nice easy station there. You need- I forgot to explain that, I said I would. You need the two stations so that there's room for the locomotive and the wood wagon. And so if I build a longer, more complicated train, which we might have to do this time, because we might need the stone wagon. No, we'll need the food wagon. So in that case, I think we're gonna need three stations so that there's room for the wood wagon and the, uh, the, the bread one. 
there is a strategic thing you could do there. I could make sure probably... I don't know if there needs to be room for all three carts, or if just only the first two get serviced or whatever, because then you could have it set up that the wheat wagon is the second one in line, so you only need two stations, but you do need three at a wood camp to make sure that gets, like, hit properly. I think I can slip through there. I'm trying to think of a way to do this with, like, the minimum number of tracks and everything. I want to be efficient with all of that. So I'm going to loop him through here, and uh, I'll just take a minute to kind of execute my plan here, and I'll chime back in. <laughs> the complexity of this uh, is very quickly surpassing what I what I had been working towards in, in like... The, just the previous level there. I didn't really do any any fancy anything over there, but now I think I'm being like efficient, planning ahead well. I got I got plans here, okay. And also, how can you not love Groovy Choo Choo, which is the music that that plays throughout this game? It's just fantastic. It's I hope they do not feel the need to update that in any way, shape, or form, because it's clearly already been affected, uh, per perfected. I, I accidentally put a switch there that I just don't need, so I gotta overwrite that. I'm, if I thought through this correctly, I should, I, I didn't really do the math, but I just figure <laughs> it shouldn't take that many pieces. I should have enough to build precisely this like perfect vision of this track that I have in mind. Although right now, you know, I'm specifically only hitting one farm. I'm only hitting one lumber mill. So I, I could do more complex versions uh, and could expand on it where you do stop and hit up more, more little areas. That's still a possibility. There are now five different stations. I hope I have enough of everything to build. I, it only takes steel for, for train parts. So I can build my locomotive. I'll send them out. Uh, wood wagon. I'll build that second. I specifically, I have an order here that I guess I want to do and don't need to, but I'm going to anyways. Send that out as well by wood wagon. Send that out thrice. Now I can start crafting this this perfect little plan of mine that I've I've been building towards. First thing I want you to do, go here, load in. Second stop you're making here, load in. Next stop, you can load out from there. Ah, uh, yes. So you're not you're not gonna have. I'll stop you here to load out, load out and load in, because I want you to unload the wheat if you have any at the time, and load in bread if there's any available, then load out at the city if you happen to have any bread available, I don't have any food, fill for a new house, yeah, that makes sense, I, I totally get that, okay, and then the last thing will be going here and load out yet again. We'll see if that was made overly complex. Perfect. They have the weed available for me. Uh, this kind of blipped a little bit. Okay, it blipped, but they didn't actually have anything for me. I could have stopped probably at both. I could have put another station there and built another uh, wheat, wheat cart, actually. That's still something I could improve on. That's something I could work on uh, quite immediately because I wouldn't even have to. I wouldn't even have to route things around. I could just stick that right there. Uh, so that would be a, a point where you have to stop at the garage, I suppose. Oh, so there, there we go. I can grab. I can grab bread already. As long as I click in the right spot, it is completed, isn't it? No, no, no. I do have to. I do have to load it. I do have to take it. Uh, so I'm. I'm gonna get you to stop. Turn off, turn off your little, your little locomotion there. I can decouple. Yes, I am going to do this. I think I am going to do this after all because I think it's a neat idea. I'm going to blast you out of there. Hmm, I have to make sure that things are the right size though if I do this. Hopefully I have enough of everything that I need. I'm going to chuck one more food wagon. Toot toot. <laughs> I uh, 
have just been playing Unrailed as well, so it's funny that I am suddenly having this weird excess train focus going on right now. Just unintentional, just kind of is happening. Guess it's a, guess it's a thing. Real hot, hot topic at the moment. Uh, I guess I, I guess I just need to upgrade these to four as well. Hmm. Okay, right, the first two carts are wheat. I don't really have room for a four long station. I'd rather not do that there if I can avoid it. And so that's going to be a little bit of experimentation to see if it still lets me park into it when I haven't, like, will, will it just exclude the wood cart? Because I'm okay with that. I kind of specifically want that even. I, I think I can move these around. No, not even. You, you kind of have to rebuild it. You can delete just the last couple or whatever, but I, I pretty much want to re... I'll have to delete it and stuff to get it get it how I want it here you guys can load in and load out since now every other pass beyond this there should be bread like waiting ready and collectible there because uh, each time you'll drop off wheat and then each time you'll have wheat to drop off and bread to pick up so that should having drop off pick up there should be totally fine you'll load out here Oh, wrong click. You'll load out here as well. And that should take us fully through all this. I'm backing you up, I guess. Because it looks like the way I, I reset everything now, all of a sudden this is the first stop and you'd be missing it otherwise. So I guess, engine on, I'm sending you fully through it. He might not have wheat to collect. Yeah. That it's already it's already been done. I didn't assign a person to this one. <laughs> so as soon as I have a person, then I can get that underway. Right now, that is not something I can actually worry about. Drop off the wheat, pick up the bread. Yes. Okay, so it did all the drop-offs first, and then it checks all the it checks every single cart. So not just the ones that are immediately relevant. This works out perfectly. It's totally the the log cart was ignored because it was the fourth cart and there was only three station spaces. And that's totally how I envisioned that. That's totally like what I wanted to happen there. Uh, so I, I'm fine. That's fine. So I should have one additional person that I'm now assigning to here. Uh, and I'm guessing you can just like improve productivity of these spaces. Oh, that's funny. You get to even see the little home under construction. By the way, yeah, you can zoom in and, and move around and stuff. Yeah, let's get a little bit of a tighter view on what we got going on in our, our little train world here. I'll take a quick look here. Bring people to the center. We have bread there. Population. Food is full. A house is built. So right now, the food reserve is two to build the next house. So the, the first one only only cost one new food being delivered in order to make that happen. Now the demand is is like a little bit higher. Is that And that makes sense. Not really, I guess. I don't know. Each additional person that's that many more mouths to feed. Sure, whatever. It works out. It's fine. I can probably work a little bit uh, on replacing a few of these. Because then we can look at, you know, the those little fast stretches get get the speed going but I got to make sure I'm not interrupting the train because if it runs into no track it comes to just a stop I don't think you can derail the train in this game it's a pretty pleasant happy little game I don't think they're suddenly gonna put in train derailments <laughs> and there they're swapping the wheat and the bread that's all underway it takes a while to build a house it's a little bit realistic in that sense that it doesn't just spring up instantaneously. And there, we got our we got ourselves a nice little fat stack of bread. Nice food reserve built up. Uh, not quite another person though. The first home I think has to finish construction. I don't think I can assign a person to help with construction or anything like that. So I'm just gonna have like this really long fulfillment cycle of this train looping through things, even though I don't really need it. Yo, 
I think he's legit chopping down trees, and I think I just saw a tree grow back. I don't think I realized that there's, like, actual seemingly forestry mechanics. I also just realized that the people in this world are just these two pixel tall little things. It makes sense when everything's super simplistic, but now you see these little tallies. They aren't just tallies, they're actually representations of the people, which is, like, extra funny and only works when your people are that simply designed. <laughs> The higher the population, the faster food is eaten. Streamline your transport to get the last citizen. Beware, a city can only make one house at a time. Make sure there's one citizen to build the home. Oh. You can build on city roads. I did do that, and that was, that was handy. Guess what, man? You are getting sent home. Yeah, I, I need you to... Need you to build the house. That makes way more sense now why I'm I'm being held up there. You can actually see him carry a little piece of lumber over there and get back to work on his house. I thought that was painfully slow to build a home. He should be just about done. Ah, he's, he's getting like the trusses put together and things like that. This guy it just doesn't know what to do. He's just strong manning, lifting this log above his head waiting for for me to cycle around oh 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 i see what's happening here i haven't been picking up the planks i forgot that you have to like manually do that so this has been staying in the train which means that uh well it just means there's a lot of inefficiencies going on <laughs> his home is complete i can get this guy back to work we got a new home being plopped down. I like that he has to find a place to build his home that isn't where the city is, where the train tracks are, where the trees are. These these little tiny two pixel people have to have the autonomy to be like, I'm going to build my home here. I think this looks like a really nice spot. It's just kind of funny to think of uh, the, the autonomy or whatever of the city planning that's going on out here. So, I, we'll see as soon as we pick up that, this guy can finally put down his log he's been carrying for, I don't know, days? Months? However long it takes for someone to build a house, essentially. It's been uh, a bit of a wait. <laughs> My apologies to him. I want to keep an eye on how he chops down his lumber here. I want to see this tree, like, fall over. We, we have these four little stumps here right now, and if, if we let it go longer, there should be additional ones, and I, I would like to see that. One more food, so in the next go around, we'll have enough food to create the next uh, piece of the population. I'm, I'm keeping a close eye on this guy, as he single-handedly clear cuts a forest. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And actually, I'm making it around at a rate now that like his that stack i don't think is complete oh it was it was i i think he finished it like the second before we got there so that's kind of funny that it worked out that precisely watching you man i want to see it uh well i know it's happening i know it's happening because i look at this one and it's like a fully forested thing i just want to see it i want to see that little moment take place you know we have an additional person do you know what? Have a buddy. We'll have two guys out here cutting down woods. That that seems to be one thing that's holding us back a little bit. If I get two of you to work out here, one, it's going to make this thing that I'm weirdly fixated on happen more quickly. But you'll be able to uh, finish your little stacks here more quickly, which right now I don't think the train will bother to pick up because it's incomplete. Yeah, it skips it. It totally skips it. So I can go, I can go take this guy. Oh, no. It would have been on screen. We would have witnessed it happen, but it would have been while I was like zoomed out or whatever. So I wasn't actively watching for it. And that's mildly a uh, disappointment to myself. Do you know what? I do have to send one of you back home though, because you have to finish building that house. I kind of want to see where he chooses. Where are you going to build, little guy? Probably don't want to wait on top of the tracks though. That's seeming a little risky. You don't have much more time. I would highly recommend getting out of the way. Maybe we need to build crossing arms, something there to stop people from just wandering out onto the tracks. Cause this guy's gonna run himself over. Is he short on supplies or something? Why, why aren't you building? Why aren't you building yourself a home, dude? Does it still need one more? 
It actually might need one more food delivery. I think I jumped jumped the gun on that. Here's kind of an issue that happens, is that it attempts to unload both wheats, and then it would pick up both breads. I think I was aware of this issue and didn't feel like completely restructuring the commands, but I'm pretty sure I could have set it up in a way that every time he was delivering two wheats and receiving two breads, Ah, oh, but there needs to be space. There needs to be space to put it. And if there's two breads sitting there, I don't think there's room to deliver two wheats. And so maybe you can never balance that uh, properly. Maybe there's ways that you can eventually expand these platforms or whatever so that they can take on more stuff at once. Or maybe there's always a limiting factor there. Since it's automated, you're not going to have different workers brought into the process anyways so you're just always kind of uh behind in that regard oh they are like actively consuming this food aren't they well i want neither of you guys doing this anymore because i don't know if you eat more food while you're out working maybe i'm like wasting too much time by the time i get around to here uh, to deliver the bread. They've like already eaten the previous one I delivered. So I, I'm never getting ahead at this point. They actually are consuming food more quickly and it is ruining what I got going on here. So I think I need to cut out the second wheat stop. And I can realistically cut out other stops as well, which I, I think I probably might as well. No more lumber mill. You don't need that anymore. No more lumber camp. D delete. There we go. I'm, you're just stopping for wheat. You're just stopping for bread. You're just stopping at the city. Because if you waste all this time stopping at all these places you don't need to be stopping, then I'm I'm really losing out on that efficiency there. I need, I need that speed. Put a couple more speed tracks around too while I'm at it to, to help get things moving. Skipping all that stuff and having the extra speedy tracks is probably going to make the difference because it was right on the cusp of, of losing out in that regard. <laughs> See, but now I have this goofiness going on where you're going to drop off two of these. Nope, I did something wrong. He was supposed to drop off the two wheat and didn't drop off either of them. Crap. Load out then in. That's what I want. But because I'm dumb and planned it inefficiently, you're going to unload the two of these. And the next time around, you're going to have to collect two bread, but you won't be able to unload any. It's just, it's not, it's not great planning overall. And it is eventually going to work. I should eventually, because of how fast I'm moving, catch up here. But I'm going to like fast forward through it because it's just so poorly planned and executed. Because I didn't realize how quickly you guys were going to eat all your damn bread. Maybe I shouldn't have invented butter. Then you guys wouldn't like your bread so much. That would make my life a lot easier. Yeah, I kind of want to... It's going to take a bit. I seriously don't know how much time this is going to save. Uh, I'm going to give it a shot. <laughs> just to see. Uh, I don't know if that actually cuts out much. Considering it, I, already, I had already told him to no longer stop at these stations. But it seems like it's a slightly faster thing. One other thing I can do to, to speed that up, actually. There, that's actually moving a lot faster overall. It's just, it is a slightly shorter leap to, shorter loop to complete. And so it is worth uh, incorporating different things, like having these loops uh, and, and separate little flips involved and then if one time you're like oh I do I do need the additional wheat or the lumber or whatever then you could you could flip over to that sort of thing but yeah in order to make sure that I have him moving around that an appropriate speed it's still I'm still lagging just a little bit here I gotta see if I could now, now I'm curious I, I kind of figured ah it's just a matter of time I might still be lagging just a little bit on these trade-offs here Every time I go past, I have one new, one new bread, and I gotta see where I'm leaving off. Now you have two, more like one and a half by the time I'm pulling back out again. Can I get back to there quickly enough 
Uh, I could, do you know what? I could tell it to skip this. But then, uh, then if it doesn't work, that might, that might have been fast enough to make it back around in time. But I have to stop here regardless. Ah, it's, it's slipping away from me. This tricky shit. This is why I don't play a lot of train games. I, uh, I, technically I think I am going to be getting ahead, so it'll be more than, like, one and a half by the time I leave. Now it's, like, one and three quarters, so you can see I'm slightly beating the curve. But train games are not my thing, apparently. Luckily, if you ever watch Unrailed on the channel, that's multiplayer and less realistic. <laughs> so it's not all on me sucking at this. I think it's uh, incredibly well done, very entertaining game. I might miss this by the tiniest bit. Go faster, go faster. Yes. No, no, it's gonna have to wait till the next round anyways. But it just really isn't uh, my kind of game. I just have never been good at this sort of thing. Unfortunately. But I'm being thorough with the Sock Pop series, and it gives me an excuse to maybe practice getting better at a type of game that I have never, never, never been good at before. So that's, that's kind of nice for me, you know? That's a fun, a fun part of things. There we go. Barely, barely got it to that point. I really had to play around with things more than I was expecting to be able to achieve that. That's quite embarrassing overall. I'll make sure in the description to have a link to the itch page so you can go and buy this right away specifically if you want and to the Soko Loco Deluxe Steam page which the game is not out yet but you can go like wishlist it and stuff like that that really helps the Sock Pop guys a lot helps uh, promote them across Steam when they know that people are interested in it and things like that. That is as much Soko Loco as I personally am doing. There's there's two more levels left to mess around with. Uh, you have a new page in your suitcase. I specifically did want to see about stuff like that. You can build platforms, which is kind of some of the bottleneck that I was dealing with in the last one. You can build your own lumber camps, your own mining camps, your own garage, your own warehouse. Increased capacity of buildings with the platform. That's absolutely what I needed last time. Oh, you can make a transfer station using a platform. You could have a station specifically dedicated to dropping off and picking things up and everything as like an intermediary. That's pretty cool. Smelting oven. And the warehouse, load out cargo here, put it in your inventory. You'll get five instead of three resources this way. Definitely invest in one when you have enough steel. That's cool to have as well. A level of complexity that I am just not going to be prepared for. But absolutely, I would recommend checking it out if this is your thing. Very well done. Very cool game. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again with more Sock Pop tomorrow.